My name is Daphne, and today myself and my fellow group members will be presenting on Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty is a cosmetics brand that was founded by singer slash actress Rihanna in 2017. After years of experimenting with the best of the best in beauty products, she realized that there was a void in the industry for products that performed across all skin tones and, tone and types. It can be found in Sephora or on their website. In just 14 months, it has made a name for itself from making it onto Time Magazine's list of 25 best inventions of 2017 to winning the Women's Wear Daily Beauty Award for launch of the year. Fenty Beauty is here to stay. Fenty Beauty is unique when it comes to target market. Most companies target one or a few different segments, whereas Fenty tries to include everyone with their tagline being beauty for all. However, men don't usually find beauty products appealing, so they are targeting women. Most of their marketing is done on social media, whether it being Twitter or Instagram, and this is indirectly targeting young women. Fenty caters to women of color. They use mostly models of color, and they have 40 different shades with two different options in every shade of foundation. This fills a need for lack of products for albino women and women of color. Rihanna was quoted in saying, feel free to take risks, chances, and dare to try something new or different. This would scare off people who are risk adverse. In conclusion, although Fenty claims to be inclusive, their target market is actually young women that are young women of color that are not afraid to take risks. Typical members of target area and Fenty Beauty include people of color or people who are darker skinned, as well as people who are on the opposite side of the spectrum, such as women who are albino, who have a hard time finding products that cater to their skin tone. In the decision process, typically a buyer would get matched to their perfect shade of foundation, and then they would purchase a contour or highlighting stick that would also match their shade. Consumers don't always buy the two together, but it is possible and it is recommended. It is also possible to obtain small samples in stores like Sephora for a foundation so you can go home and test it out and make sure that it actually fits you in all lighting, shades, etc. Um, consumers typically swatch powdered products like eyeshadow before purchasing to see if the pigment is worth the amount of money that they're paying for it. So for example, is a kilowatt highlighting powder worth spending $40 because of the pigment or can they get something that is of the same shade for a cheaper price. Typically the purchase criteria for Fenty Beauty is if um, is for the foundation and concealers. Foundations must match the customer and the concealers must match them accordingly. Um, powder products, pigmentation must be high or buildable and lip products uh, must be long lasting, are they pigmented, and do they suit the customer's skin tone. Media usage, um, Fenty Beauty uses Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter to promote new and existing products within the company. Fenty typically uses Rihanna in her ads as well as other models who range in skin complexion, such as Duffy Thought and other models, and YouTube beauty influencers such as Alyssa Ashley, a biracial Mexican and black makeup artist. Fenty Beauty is always active on their Twitter page as well as their Instagram, consistently updating on products, as well as signing up for their emails to alert customers on new, um, new products or products that are coming back in stock. For shopping behavior at Fenty Beauty, for Fenty Beauty, women of color are typically excited to see the different shades that cater to their skin tone. Um, and fans who are loyal to Rihanna are the main consumers for Fenty Beauty. On social media, people were excited and thrilled to see how well they performed. Fenty Beauty has had a successful year in the makeup industry. From primer, foundation, to lipstick, they, their consumers are buying it all. So what more can they do? How can Fenty Beauty expand themselves? We propose that Fenty Beauty become a family brand by creating a line of skincare products. Specifically, specifically products that specialize in not only removing makeup, but also hydrates and rejuvenates the skin. Becoming a family brand would give Fenty Beauty the advantage of using an established brand name for their new products while transferring their brand equity, all while saving on marketing funds. 
You may ask why skincare products? And the answer is why not? Having good skin is essential for the smooth and flawless application of makeup. Looking online, specifically on Rihanna's Instagram, we can see a demand for skincare products where fans are constantly asking her to leak her skincare regimen because they love her skin. So why not take advantage of that and make a profit?